Uh, Michael, can we, can, we set, can we set the ball rolling um, now? Because I think we've got quite an, uh, a number of people to joining. Um, do share this platform. Take a minute and share the platform whilst we wait for Michael to join in. Um, if you're just joining now, you know you're the real MVP. You're the real MVP. I see you all, Fred, Francis, um, all of you, Isaac, great, 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 great for joining me. Michael, let's move to, um, straight to today's session. Um, yeah, with the scholarships you have for us. I have a few, so I'll do that after you. Okay, so um, like I said, uh, this will be brief as possible. And once I'm done, I'll, uh, it's kind of fortunate I'll leave you as soon as possible. That's all right. So that I can also do uh, with other um, activities. All right, so um, <clears throat> today, uh, it's kind of fortunate. Uh, we are only focused and limited to master's and PhD. Uh, we do not have undergraduates and all that, but hopefully next week, I think I should bring something for you guys. But today is a mixture of both um, scholarship and also um, fellowships, you know, so um, it should be interesting to you. All right, so um, let's get started. So there is um, an opportunity open at the moment at the Mohammed bin Zayhad University, okay, which is um, master's and PhD scholarship, all right, in artificial intelligence, okay, so um, if you're intentional and this is your, your field, uh, this is an opportunity you cannot miss. Um, this comes with a full scholarship, tuition scholarship, and also stipend available for you. And this is also open for international students, so Ghanaians, Nigerians, all African countries, you are eligible for this. So click the link, um, get your relevant document and apply. This is open to master's and PhD students who are interested in artificial intelligence, all right, as Mohammed Bin Zayhad University, right? So that's the first one I have for you guys today or this evening. All right, so um, fast forward to um, the second one. Um, uh, Lois, I'm, I, I believe I'm loud and clear, right? Yeah, you're very loud and clear. Let me just chip in that. Um, Nana Aduma in Cancer Jane Fee. So the name Nana Aduma in Cancer Jane Fee is dropping the links in the chat box session. So if you, if you hear the name of the scholarship, she's dropping the links in the chat box session rightfully click on the link, open the tabs on your computer or your phone or save them and start the application right away. So Michael, you're loud and clear. You can carry, carry on. Okay. So uh, the second one would be in Australia. Uh, you know, very often I do talk about Australia when it comes to agriculture and all of that, but also they are very much into research, right? So this is a PhD research position at the University of Queensland in Australia. Okay, and also at the Indian Institute, um, Institute of Technology and multi, um, Multidisciplinary uh, Project. Okay, so uh, this is also open to PhD students. It's a purely research position at the University of Queensland, but they are partnering with the Indian Institute of Technology, right? And um, in fact, this is a very big uh, position, okay? And um, it comes with a number of uh, criteria, but I believe if you're a PhD student, you would have most of this, um, you, you, you would fit for, I mean, there are criteria, so um, give it a look. You have a friend, a brother, a relative, a colleague or something, please share this particular in, um, opening for them because um, the past few weeks, I've got a number of requests, especially with PhD uh, researchers, and they are looking for positions and all of that. So please, um, if you know someone, kindly share this with them. I, I think it's going to benefit them, right? And this is also still open. Um, for now, it's still open. There's no specific deadline because it's a number of scholarship available. Okay, so you need to go through to see uh, the one which is of interest to you and with their respective dates. So once you click the link, you'll see it's a very broad and a number of scholarships available. So um, go on there and um, look at the deadlines and be very, very particular with the time. Sometimes they tell you 11.59 p.m. Some people think it is 11.59 a.m. <laughs> I'm done. It's not like that. So pay particular attention to the timing. It's going to, really going to help you. Right. Right. So with the second one, so we have the um, IARS, right? IARS, postdoctoral um, fellowship, right? Okay. So um, th this is particularly, this is even in particular France, in France. I think last week I spoke about a number of opportunities in France. And uh, last week also I, I shared... Um, some way to go on how to get a fundings in France, and this is one of them, right? So please, 
Uh, France has opened a number of opportunities. So if you are Ghanaian, internet, wherever you are listening to us from, please take advantage of this. Do not focus on only UK, Canada, Germany, and all of that. But please focus on France because, uh, in fact, sometimes if you apply, if I, let me give you this assurance. Once you apply to um, an institution in France and you do not get direct scholarships, please fight for admission. Once you get the admission, it is a done deal that you're going to get the scholarship because uh, you qualify. That is why you got the admission. So automatically, you also qualify for their scholarship. Once you get there, there is uh, this scholarship, the CAF. Okay, uh, I will share the link in the comment section so I can read further on that. So in the event you do not get direct, fully funded, try to get admission. And once you get there, you can apply for the scholarship and you're going to get it. So I mean, what is more juicy than this, right? So there is two options. If you get the full funding before you leave, fine. If you do not get it, try to get the admission and you are good to go. Right, right. So this is the A, um, ARS uh, postdoctoral uh, fellowship in France. Okay, and the deadline is 30th of uh, November. And so I think uh, there's still enough time for you to have, I think three weeks or so to apply. So don't slack. And like I do say, this particular opportunity it's, it's limited. They have a number of people they are looking for. Okay, so do not be carried away with, because it's 30th of November, so I still have more time. You keep on procrastinating, uh, you know, it's not really going to help you. So please apply as soon as possible. You do not have time. This is not for you. This is not a family thing. This is a public thing, and you are not the only one applying. Everybody all over the world, it's open to everybody. This is not limited to only Africans or international students. So please, be deliberate towards your success. Be deliberate towards your self-development and your future. Because all this determines your future. It influences you. Right. Last week, I told somebody that national service really influences people's future. What you do at the, uh, after national service, sometimes it's largely in line with your career. You know, sometimes you did social science, but let's say they posted you to a health facility. Before you realize, you are more interested in the health health sector. Meanwhile, that is not what you learned at the undergraduate. So these are also uh, future uh, determinant factors. Okay, so do not slack on this and take advantage of this opportunity. It is the IARS uh, postdoctoral fellowship in France. The deadline is 30th of November, 2020. Right. Okay, so um, let's go move forward to the next one, who is the Nyang uh, President Graduate Scholarship in Singapore. In Singapore. The, the Nanyang, it's a Chinese word. Okay, so <laughs> if, if you cannot, uh, permit me if I'm unable to spell it, very, uh, pronounce it very well, but I'm sure Aduma will share it down there. Uh, the most important thing is not the name, but the link to apply. Look at the fully funded and you are good to go. So this is the uh, President Graduate Scholarship, you know, which is open to international st students in Singapore. And I think Singapore is one of the countries that offers good tuition and um, uh, they, they have an atmosphere of welcoming international students, right? And they are not so strict on IELTS test score. So once you have an English proficiency waiver, you are good to go. However, if you have the IELTS test score, it's a plus, okay? But they are not so strict like most of the Canadian institutions, okay? So try this Nyang President Graduate Scholarship and um, you will be fine. The deadline is also 30th of November. Like I said, all these opportunities I'm sharing today or I'm mentioning today, they are limited. They have a number of people they are looking for, right? Even though on paper it is 30th, it could be before 15th, they've gotten They've exceeded their target number and they would have no choice than to do what? Close it. So do not leave to chance. I do say it that try as much as possible to get all your applications documents ready so that once you start to mention, like you start the application right about now, right after we finish it, you start your application because there's no time to waste. Okay, this is something limited. So please uh, take advantage of this. That is the Nyang President Graduate Scholarship in Singapore. The deadline is 30th of November, 2020. Right, I hope I'm loud and clear here. Yeah. Okay. Right. You are very so loud and clear. And Nyang okay. is one of the good technical universities in, in the world, actually. So, I mean, having a, a, a graduate uh, education there is very prestigious. So, if they are also offering scholarship, I think it's a very great call. It's a very great Yeah, call. they also have a number of scholarship, you know. So, um, in the event you, you click the link, um, do not focus on this. There are a number of scholarships available there. So if this particular one is not tailored to meet or doesn't fit your, 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 your area of interest, there are a number of opportunities there that would fit your interest. 
Okay. Yeah. So, uh, like I say, we have the consecutive application and the non-consecutive application. Some of the uh, opportunities you see there might not be in consonance to your undergraduate, but might be in consonance to your work experience. Take advantage of it. Right. You know, so don't be too strict on it. Look at it, and they have a number of scholarships uh, at the university. And be also, open -minded. In Singapore, be open-minded. Be open-minded. That's all. Be open-minded exactly. to open opportunities. Not, exactly. not targeting, exactly. boxing yourself in that particular aspect. How know, does right. your undergraduate I, link with your work, link with some little, little things that you've done? I mean, that's why I always say, the undergraduates, you, like we all did it. Now, I, I say, I have fufu, fufu, like, do you get what I mean? So, but the value that comes out of it is what matters. And how does your national service link with all these things to create you or make you a better person? So be open-minded. Don't box yourself. Yeah, over. Michael, I'm not talking again. And, and before I continue on that, exactly, and, and to, 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 to add to what you've just said, I would encourage us that whilst you wait for the opportunity, please, if you are not working uh, officially, volunteer online. Please do that. It's very, very important because you can leverage on this to, because if you think you, this is your area of interest and you want to work with an NGO, work with an NGO, uh, you want to go to the health sector, do this. Sometimes do not expect them to make a post that we, are, we, we want these people. Sometimes write a letter to the organization that you want it. Right. So please be intentional because most of this scholarship Sometimes your work experience really counts a lot. Your volunteerism, your intention, and all of that, they really help you and they expose you. Okay, right. So now let's go to the next one. This is purely for independent researchers. Okay, so if you know an independent researcher here in Ghana or anywhere on your connection, your friend, whosoever in your church and everything, this is a good opportunity to share with them, right? So we need independent researchers in the UK. And this is the St. Henry Fellowship, right? The St. Henry Fellowship for independent researchers in the UK. And the deadline is um, 3rd December, 2020, right? Now, once the deadline elapsed, what they're going to do is that they're going to reopen again, all right? And when you click on this link, there is a number of um, fellowships available. So uh, you would see what Nana Duma will share is that it has two deadline. That is the 3rd December and 29th March. Do not be carried away. Please go with the third one. And once you go through and you read very well, there are some of the uh, programs on the fellowship that the deadline would end on the 3rd and some to 29th. But whichever way, try to have the 3rd December on your mind and apply accordingly. Like I said, once you click the link, read. Once you read, you'd understand what I mean. Okay? Right. And the next one, um, this is also a research scholarship at uh, Western uh, uh, Sydney University in Australia. Okay? And this is a fully funded scholarship. And the deadline is... Um, I said 27th, 27th November 2020. So it is a fully funded scholarship. And one unique thing about this uh, research scholarship is, okay, first, if, if, if uh, this is a research base, so if you know you, you have a publication or something, and of course, if you do not even have it, please, you can give it a try. Read the criteria once you have uh, the relevant document. But one thing about this research scholarship in Western Sydney University is that you, you, you need to, okay, now let me give you this process to get this particular research scholarship very well. Now go to their website, right? Once you look through and you think you've seen a program that fits for you, all right, now go to their departmental portal or option on the website and look at uh, the, the, the professors or the supervisors, okay? Once you see the professors and the supervisors, you're going to see their area of interest. But now once you get their area of interest, you can do further study on them. You can pick their name, copy their name to LinkedIn or Google Scholar. Just try to get their research work. Okay, once you get their research work, this is a strategy you need to use for the scholarship. Once you get their research work, you know, with every research, there's recommendation, right? So sometimes do not pay attention to the slangs and all those jargons they use. Just read, if you cannot even read, sometimes it's very, very voluminous. So you can scroll down to the recommendation because usually that is the target. And look at the recommendation and see how you can tailor the recommendation. So this is where you need to email them. Okay. So once you start with the application, this scholarship, try to email the supervisors that you've applied to this and try to link, try to pick up from their recommendation. I don't know if I'm, I'm, I'm straightforward, but try to pick up from their recommendation and capitalize on it in your email to the supervisor or the professor. This is one unique thing you should need to follow when it comes to this research scholarship at the Western Sydney University in Australia. Okay, I believe I'm loud and clear. Yeah. 
Uh, Lois, is there any question before I mention the last one? Because yeah, we have so, uh, seven opportunities for you guys. Yeah, so, I mean, if you have any question with what Michael is saying, probably you don't get something well, please do put the questions in the chat box session and we'll take the questions right after so that he can answer them as well so that, I mean, we can proceed. But just with what you're saying, with the research, it's very important to capitalize on setting out them out of you know, research gate, their Google Scholar, their publications. Um, I don't know that whether we should do a, a session on that, but you can, you can find their recent publication by arranging them based on the dates. So you can choose 2020 recent, read about it, what they are doing in that particular research. There are always recommendations at the end of the research, but they are looking at feathering on on that work. We always don't finish the work that we do as part of the research. So if you're able to capitalize on the recommendation and saying that this is my uh, portion that I'm going to bring on the table, they'll be like, oh, okay, well, with research, sometimes we don't have, like, like, let me use myself as a typical example. I'm using like plasma processes, but I'm using a very high input voltage plasma, but there's a low voltage plasma, but I can't do everything. So one day my supervisor was saying that we need to get somebody to work on the low pressure plasma. Do you get it? So immediately he's putting, he's looking out for a call of people who, who are doing materials and that. So there are always, I mean, recommendations as part of our inputs that you can capitalize on. And when they see you as a viable person, they quickly want to take you to work on that aspect as well, even if it's for an internship. And we just recently this week had a three, uh, a, a guy from India coming in for a three months internship with our institution. So capitalize on these fellowships and stuff. I mean, if such a person has worked with us, he'll be ready to take on with masters. I mean, if we've worked with him, we can as well just make him continue by enrolling him on a master's and giving him a funding. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that, that's targeted. That's targeted. <laughs> it's brilliant. Yeah, fellowship is very, very important. And uh, it's something you shouldn't uh, miss. If once you get the opportunity, please um, roll on it. Uh, that, that laudable. So, um, the, with the last one, this is focused on women, women in science. So, Lois, this is your, your, your area, STEM, you know. <laughs> so, these women. So, um, any lady, any woman on the timeline, please uh, take advantage of this. The value for this scholarship is 50000 That is the Slumberga Foundation Fellowship for women in science, okay? Um, and the deadline, the deadline is tomorrow. No, the deadline is 9th, okay? Uh, that's Monday, Monday, so. Yeah, like, and something, when, when, with respect to that scholarship here. Yeah. yeah. So if you go on Facebook, type out Angela Tebri. Angela okay. Tebri is a strongholder of that uh, um, funding from her master's in Ames, Africa Institute of Mathematics uh, Institute, which was in Italy. Then she went, she came here, um, I think in Glasgow or something to do her PhD. So she's helping anybody who is applying for that scholarship, for that woman in science scholarship. Is she on well. LinkedIn? She's on LinkedIn, Angela okay. Tibri. So she's, she'll be very excited. And just as you said, women in science, if you can see myself, so book science, like I'm a very strong advocate. So apply, guys. <laughs> but, but knife is the deadline. Knife, Monday the deadline, so please, uh, there is no time to waste. Um, if you have what it takes now, please apply as soon as possible. If you're a woman and um, that's your interest area, there are a number of people I've um, had conversation with, uh, chats on phone, on LinkedIn, there are engineers and all that. These are women and this is a very big opportunity for you guys, so please uh, take advantage of this and um, you'll be fine, okay? So um, Lois, uh, this is what I have for, uh, for, for you today um seven um opportunities hopefully next week uh, i'm going to include um, undergraduate and of course the usual one the masters and the phd so uh, basically that's